video we would be solving this question which says clara's utility function is u of x comma y is equal to x plus 2 multiplied by y plus 1 where x is the consumption of good x and y is her consumption of good y this information we are asked write an equation for, for clara's indifference curve that passes through the point x comma y is equal to 2 comma 8 your equation would be of the form y is equal to dash on the axis below Sketch Clara's indifference curve for u is equal to 36. Here we are given that the utility function takes the form of u of x comma y is equal to x plus 2 multiplied by y plus 1. Now we want to find the equation that passes through the point 2 comma 8. So for that let's first calculate the utility at that point. So that would be u of 2 comma 8 would be 2 plus 2 multiplied by 8 plus 1. That would be nothing but 4 multiplied by 9 and u of 2 comma 8 is equal to 36. So we want an equation which gives Clara the utility of 36. The representation of the curve that represents that equation would be nothing but the Clara's indifference curve. That would give Clara the same level of utility as the consumption point 2 comma 8. So your equation of the indifference curve now becomes... 36 is equal to x plus 2 multiplied by y plus 1. Here we have this graph where on the x axis you have good x, y axis you have good y. And if I plot this equation, it will look like this. So this red indifference curve is the indifference curve. Give Clara the utility of 36. So if I simplify this, since the question is asking in this format, in this format, your equation would be 36 divided by x plus 2 is equal to y plus 1 or rearranging it, your y is equal to 36 divided by x plus 2 minus 1. So this is the equation of the indifference curve that passes through the point 2 comma 8 and that gives Clara the utility of 36 on to the next part which says suppose that the price of each good is one and that clara has the income of 11 draw her in her budget line and clara achieve the utility of 36 with this budget oh let p x denotes the price of good x p y denote the price of good y let m denote clara's income according to the question the price of each good is one which implies your px is one your pi p y is one and income is 11 that means your m is 11 the standard equation of the budget line is the price multiplied by commodity plus price of other good multiplied by the commodity is equal to income such that your expenditure is equal to income here px is 1 substituting that and py is 1 so again substituting that that would be y is equal to 11 so this is your equation of your budget line let's draw it this is the graph we have where x on the x-axis you have good x on y-axis you have good y this is the indifference curve that gives clara the utility of 36 let's first draw the budget line which would look like this so this blue straight line is nothing but your budget line secondly the question further asks us, can Clara achieve the utility of 36 with this budget line? Note that there are two subparts. Firstly, we want the utility to be 36. That means any combination should be lying on the indifference curve for Clara. And next is that should be affordable by Clara. That means that should lie within his budget line. Which graphically means that those points should either lie below the budget line or on the budget line as you can clearly see that here segment of the indifference curve that i am highlighting this segment that lies below the in budget line that means all these combinations are affordable for clara that give her the utility of 36 so here the answer is yes now let's move on to the next part which says Add the commodity bundle x comma y, Clara's marginal rate of substitution is dash. And we need to find the marginal rate of substitution, which would be calling. We know that your MRS 
is nothing but minus of mu x divided by mu y where mu x is nothing but your marginal utility from good x and mu y is marginal utility from good y so let's first calculate your mu x and mu y your mu x is the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to x we know that the utility function takes the form of u of x comma y is equal to x plus 2 multiplied by y plus 1 so let's differentiate it with respect to x for that we need to keep y constant and that would be nothing but y plus 1 similarly you can calculate partial utility for good y that would be partially differentiating the utility function with respect to y. For that, you need to keep x constant and differentiate it with respect to y. And that would be nothing but x plus 2. So, let's substitute the value of mu x and mu y into this equation. My answer becomes minus of y plus 1 divided by x plus 2. So this is nothing but the Clara's Marshall's rate of substitution at the bundle x comma y. See if the question asked us to calculate the marginal rate of substitution at any other particular point. Then here instead of x and y, I would have substituted that point and, calculate the, and calculated the numerical value. So keep these small things in mind at which particular point the question is asking to calculate your marginal rate of substitution. Now moving on to the sixth part, we get if we set the absolute value of MRS equal to price ratio, we have the equation as MRS was minus of y plus 1 divided by x plus 2. And this should be equal to price ratio, which is the price of Px divided by Py. So and we know the price of each good is 1. So this becomes your y plus 1 divided by x plus 2 is equal to 1 next is the budget equation we have already calculated the budget equation in my previous part which was equal to x plus y is equal to 11. again if you want me to do it i'll do it that would be you we know that px is one that is the price of good y x and good y is also one and your m is your income the equation of the budget line is px x plus py y is equal to m Substituting the values of Px, Py and M, I would be able to get my equation which would be x plus y is equal to 11. Now moving on to the next part which says solving these two equations for two unknowns x and y, we find that x is equal to dash and y is equal to dash. And which are these two equations? First is this equation and the second is this equation. Sorry, this equation. So your two equations are y plus 1 divided by x plus 2 is equal to 1 and x plus y is equal to 11. Let's simplify. I would be able to get y plus 1 is equal to x plus 2 or y is equal to x plus 1 if I take y on the right hand side. If I substitute this into this, I would get that x plus y and y is now taking the value of x plus 1 so x plus 1 is equal to 11 that would be 2x plus 1 is equal to 11 or 2x is equal to 10 or x is equal to 5 so here the answer is 5 again substituting this back into this equation i would get y is equal to 5 plus 1 as x is taking the value of 5 so here is y is equal to 6 so here your answer is 6 so that was all for this video